Um, just speaking of studs, studs and studs and studs on the show, but let's talk about Joe Burrow. They had their mini camp yesterday, and Joe Burrow stepped to the podium, as he always does, sort of understated. He had that stupid headband on that everyone's talking about. I'm not focused on the headband. I'm focused on his extension, because Jalen got his, uh, Lamar got his, and now it leaves Burrow as next in line. So after a bunch of questions about, yep, yeah, the dodgeball look and all, I mean, and it's a good look. It really, we, we like it. Uh, and I think Jamar Chase was talking about how they do like UFC moves together. I'm getting two thumbs up from Marissa on the look. Okay, great. Uh, I mean, he could be in our show lineup, just barely, but he could be in our show lineup for today because <laughs> there's a standard clearly that has been set by FanDuel TV. Uh, but he was asked about how negotiations are going. He didn't say very much but uh, he did say that he doesn't want things to play out in the media, which I love. And he gave some insight into what's important in here. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, whenever you have guys on the team that, that need to be paid, that's always on your mind. You want that to, to be a focal point, and so we're, we're working to, to make that happen. Yeah, you got to have good players. You know, you can't, you see, I mean, it doesn't matter how good, good your quarterback is. If you don't have good players around him, you're not going to be a very good team. Do I like that haircut? It reminds me of, you do? It is so fourth grade, it hurts me. It is, I'm picturing, it's Sean Hunter! It's Sean Hunter from Boy Meets World. Ooh. Can I see that again? I, I wasn't listening to the clip, I was watching the hair. Let me see it again. Can I hear the clip again? Do we have it re Yeah, it's definitely, you know, whenever you have guys on the team that, that need to be paid, that's always on your mind. You want that to, to be a focal point, and so we're we're working to, to make that happen. Yeah, you got to have good players. You, know, you can't. You see, I mean, it doesn't matter how good good your quarterback is if you don't have good players around him. You're not going to be a very good team. Okay, listen to what he said, <laughs> and it it, is, it remains to be seen exactly how Burrow is going to factor those teammates that he's talking about into the said negotiations, whether it's by backloading the deal or if he's actually willing to sacrifice a few dollars. He just reminds me of Tom Brady. Just reminds me of how he talks. Even if he says, he didn't really say anything there, but we're like, oh, every word we're like latching onto and it's meaningful. Uh, and when he's talking about these teammates, these are guys who, some of them who've been with him for a long time, like the Jamar Chases of the world, um, and his other teammates like T. Higgins, Logan Wilson, other really key members of the core of what makes this team this team, they're all due extension soon. So it has to be encouraging for Bengals fans to hear that Joe's at least considering other key pieces on this team and keeping things sort of in perspective uh, as he is approaching approaching this new deal. And speaking of keeping things in perspective, let's give some love to Joe. It is Mental Health Awareness Month here on the show. Lots of good going on in the league. And uh, we would like, I wish we had a longer show or we need to make it more of a point to highlight it because really a lot of NFL players, teams and owners are doing great stuff. But Burrow and his dad, Jimmy, who I have a lot of respect for and I've gotten to know a bit over the past couple of years, they took care of the bill for mental health treatment of 20 families in Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Uh, the foundation, his foundation, Joe Burrow Foundation, uh, they were supposed to pay for a few, right? And they literally could not narrow it down. So they just decided to take the bill and pick up the tab for everyone, which is something that we absolutely love to see and support. Um, maybe we'll have Hamilton on next. Maybe we'll, I don't know if Hamilton makes the cut, honestly, with, with, the, with those shirts from his mom. I don't think, Paul Rabel, Chandler Parsons with that even tan. Did you hear what the word he said on this set to my face? What is happening on this program? Fresh up a trip from the Bahamas where they all went bananas. Gronk, Parsons, Rabel, next.